Ako po si Rico Panyero. Ayan, ako po si Lala Banderas. At kami po ang... Partner! Sa papakinggan niyo po sa Yes FM para... Hayahay! Alam mo, Lala Banderas, hmm. ano, matanong nga kita. Nag-enjoy ka ba habang ikaw ay nag-aaral? Oo naman, puro balakbol. <laughs> <laughs> Oo nga, mag enjoy ka nga no, talaga dyan. Enjoy na enjoy. Oo, alam mo, no? Ayan, natin ako po kay Lala Banderas tukol po sa pag-aaral. At ngayon, maganda hmm. po ang ating pag-uusapan ngayon because it's all about studies. Ayan, hindi lang basta-basta study. It's more of experience, hmm. getting yourselves out there. At ang pinakamaganda dito, Pacner, oh. ang ini-include talaga natin ngayon ay yung youth. Yung kabataan. Ay, yes. Ay. Kasi iba ang drive ng youth when it comes mm -hmm. to studies, experience, uh -huh. no? Sabi nga kasi ni Rizal, ang kabataan ng pag-asa ng... Ba? Yan? Hindi, magulang. <laughs> <laughs> kasi ang, ang uh, kabataan ang magbabayad ng utang ng magulang. Yan, yeah, tama. <laughs> Pero nga naman, sino ang uh, okay. pinakamagandang uh, makakapag-describe uh, ng uh, bagong uh, endeavors mm -hmm. at uh, mga opportunities sa... Uh, para sa mga kabataan, kung hindi itong organization na ito. At balita ko, nandito sila. At yung organization na ito, alam mo kung ano? Ano? Ayan, ito po yung kinatawag na YC Lee. Yeah. Oh, so, ano nga ba ibig sabihin ng YC Lee? Alam mo ba ibig sabihin ng YC Lee? Siyempre, hindi. <laughs> Kaya po, yeah. ayan, atin po ngayon mga kasama, ang talaga nga namang magbibigay po sa atin ng uh, mga informasyon tungkol yes. po dito sa YC Lee. And, kasama natin ang Lamanderas. Mm. Ayan, ang Cultural Affairs Assistant, US Embassy si na si Miss EJ Bautista Ayan, at kasama hi, rin natin okay. si uh, Miss Christine Needler, Cultural Affairs Officer ng U.S. Embassy. Hello! Hi. Hello. Hello. Welcome uh, to our uh, mini program, Ika nga nila yan. Mm -hmm. At syempre, we want to know more about this organization. This is something that's not new to us because yes. a lot of youth organizations is now present in the Philippines. Pero ano yung YC? What is YC? YCLE it stands for Young Southeast Asian Leaders Initiative and it's a new program that was launched by President Obama in 2013 and it's a program that's created to help empower young people throughout ASEAN to face challenges in their communities on a regional basis, right? So the program focuses on four main areas. One, mm -hmm. environmental protection, mm -hmm. education, mm -hmm. civic engagement, and economic development. Mm -hmm. And so this program really works to bring young people together from throughout ASEAN to work on projects together that are, that are challenges in their communities. It also offers um, young people, you have to be a member, so you have to sign up to, to, to avail of any opportunities, workshops mm -hmm. in the region. So we've sent probably just this year, uh, 2014, about 20, um, 20. young uh, Filipinos to different workshops mm -hmm. throughout the region. We also just sending four Filipinos to the United States for an exchange program. Oh, naman, U.S. agad pa! Oh, yeah. I'm sorry! Yeah. Hong Kong, Singapore, U.S. agad! Panalo! <laughs> yeah. And they work with American students and universities and other organizations that, you know, teach different skills and give um, the YCD members um, different resources and opportunities to to contribute to their communities and um, also this year we're going to have 50 about 50 exchange opportunities to the United States so President mm -hmm. Obama announced last year that he's increasing the program and wants to send 500 um, uh, YCD members from ASEAN to the United States for exchange opportunities. So it's really exciting and if you want to make a difference in your community and you're between 18 and 35, um, we uh, encourage uh, you to sign up for and become a YCD member. All you have to do is sign up and go to the website, right? YCD.state.gov. Anda, anda, alam mo yung uh, sinabi niyang ganun, ando na halos lahat eh. Actually. Pero gusto talaga natin kilalanin yung YCD eh. Bukod kasi sa uh, meron siyang advocacy na ipinaforward sa mga Filipino youth, mm -hmm. gusto pa natin siyang makilala ng mas deeper para maintindihan ng mga youth natin why is it important na mag-engage tayo sa ganito mga PPPs. Pax, meron tayong mga nakaredy dyan na pinaka-wapak mong mga katanong. Ayan, okay. So, uh, mama no, since last year po, uh, Kasabi na ilan yung mga Filipino? 50? 50? Almost 50 Filipinos were in the program of... Uh, uh, no, ang members namin now in the Philippines is 1,900. Wow, 1,000! Almost 2,000! So almost 2,000. Okay. In the whole of um, ASEAN, out of sa 10 countries, I think we have around 11 to 13,000 members. 11 to 13,000. It's, mm -hmm. it's growing. Sa loob ng one year span. Yes. From, Galing, from its yeah. launch in December 2013. So, so ma'am, how long is the program? So when I started today, so mm -hmm. when will be, uh, when it will last? 
Y C D. Kankelan is it? Oh, as long as uh, register ka lang sa website and mm -hmm. then you'll get um, updates sa different opportunities na meron. Mm -hmm. Hindi siya yung one time, big time. It's not like that. But mm -hmm. you'll get updates about exchanges, ongoing. Um, grand competitions, mm -hmm. ongoing. So, so once a member na YCD, always a member of YCD. Yes. Yes. Kahit meron kayong age bracket na 18 to 35. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Pasok! Uh, <laughs> and you know what's really exciting, what's coming up in the program, we call it the Seeds, YCD Seeds for the Future. Mm -hmm. And it is, um, it, YCD members have the opportunity to submit a poll proposal um, to request um, grant money, so seed money, if you will, mm -hmm. to implement their proposal. So, mm -hmm. it, it, again, it goes back to projects. So, if you want to do an environmental protection project in your community, or education, or mm -hmm. civic engagement, mm -hmm. the one um, um, requirement, really, is that you partner with other uh, YCD members from another ASEAN nation. So, it's really taking people outside of mm -hmm. their you know their their country, their home country, and looking at how these um, challenges, how different communities address challenges that are shared by by many of us. Oh, so it's, it's really exciting. It's encouraging uh, other ASEAN member to help other ASEAN yeah. members and yeah. to pursue the project. Yeah. Young yeah. leaders. Yeah. See, but also, you know, you have your friends from uh, from, from different uh, kinds mm. of. Uh, people in other countries. Mm, Parang yeah. may friend ako sa Brunei. Friend. Ayun! Yeah. 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 Invite them to oh. join seeds for the future together. Yeah. My friend ako sa Brunei, yung elephant. Pinapunta ko na. <laughs> <laughs> the elephant your friend. Uh, pero ang nakakatawa po kasi dito, meron siyang pinoint out kanina si Ma'am Christina for uh, parang, is it a four program? Four pillars. Four pillars. Oh, ito yung mga visions ninyo na uh, kumbaga yung pinaka tinatarget ninyong ma-enhance sa youth. So, pwede mo ba siyang i-elaborate isa-isa para meron na kami Education, uh -huh. um, economic development, okay. uh, civic engagement, and then environment. Right. Paano ba ito? Right. Ah, isa kada, kada, ano na yun, kada category na yun, paano nyo ba sila ina-enhance sa youth para yes. makilala namin yung pwede? Yes, Actually, like, like they're, they're, uh, are they doing lectures mm. or more on uh, field? Well, different, we have different programs, so we have exchanges na thematic, like what we just said, it's an um, institute on religious pluralism, so it's more on religious pluralism. We just finished recruiting people for the environmental issues, and then our next programs will also be thematic, focusing on the four pillars. Mm -hmm. Also, the Seeds for the Grant will be asking the, the YCD members to come up with a proposal na ang focus is that four pillars then. So, so yung ginagawa nila dito is more than uh, communicating with other uh, races kung sasabihin nga natin. But uh, ano ba yung ginagawa nila dito to actually engage with them pag pinag-aaralan? Hands it's hands-on. Mm -hmm. So that it's more field work. It can be okay. anything, but it is cleaning up the rivers. We yeah. had a proposal, for example, right. was between three ASEAN nations, countries. countries, and it was about cleaning the rivers and why it's important to the communities to have clean water, right? So mm -hmm. it, it was education by educating the people who live along the river and helping them with the resources and information about how to clean their rivers and how to keep them clean. So a lot of it is field work, it's programs getting out there, mm -hmm. it's talking to the communities, it's giving back to the communities and giving communities the tools, the information, um, and the resources that are necessary to foster positive change and address some of the challenges like we face in the environment, lack of education, mm -hmm. lack of economic opportunity, creating jobs, mm -hmm. um, you know, those types of issues. So it's more than just going around Lecturing is great as well, and that can be a component of yeah. it. It's all. It's, it can be anything. It's, mm -hmm. We're looking for great ideas, young people that have great ideas, and there are so many great ideas in the Philippines and all throughout. <laughs> the, no, <laughs> it's overwhelmed, it's it's overwhelmed, overwhelmed by the, overwhelmed. the amount of passion and, and great ideas that young people um, have certainly shared with us um, to foster positive change. Wow, so, that's wow. so good. Actually, you know, here in the Philippines, we have uh, problems, right? We don't know that uh, our problems also exist in other exactly. countries. Yes. Yes. And this True. is the exactly. straight part about it. Mm. Your friends in Indonesia or uh, Malaysia or Brunei, they face some of the same challenges as you know other young people. And so bringing them to the same table mm -hmm. and talking about it, you're not alone. Mm -hmm. You're part of something bigger, right? Yes, we and we really like believe that. that the young that young people in general are the future leaders, right? Yes. I mean, you, you, I'm done, right? <laughs> you, you're, I mean, you're still young. Yes. You, you need the future leaders. Leaders of, of the communities, of the countries, of the world. And so it's a great opportunity for young people to get involved. Of course, young uh, people getting exposed to this are youth. And we all know that youth is a part of this society that's very ha hard to handle. 
they are very fragile, they are very emotional. So how are you guys dealing with it? Because uh, young leaders like this, of course, they have a very critical mind when it comes to their opinion. So who are the people behind YC who are teaching and guiding these students? Well, part I I've, I've worked with many young people since mm -hmm. I've been in the Philippines and I've really always been very impressed by their passion, by mm -hmm. their knowledge and by their um, desire to um, help others, to help their communities um, and, and looking for ways that they can do more. Um, so the young people that I've come across really have had made have made a, quite a positive impression on me, mm -hmm. um, and so it's it's for us. They they come to us with amazing ideas, and part of the program is also instilling leadership skills because I think being a leader is something that's very important to to foster positive change. Mm -hmm. Right, you have to get other people to want to clean that river with you, and other people to want to sort of like bring people together. And so one piece of the a lot of the trainings and workshop leadership development, mm -hmm. um, working with other um, countries as well as American students it come into this mix as well, which is kind of exciting because it adds, you know, a different d a dynamic to it. So it's been great. I don't know if you have any other experience, no, but they've been, been just been very impressed. Very impressed. Youth. Oh, so, so energetic. Mang EJ, yung mga tao behind this uh, organization na nagtuturo or nag-guide dito sa mga sudyanting to are professionals. Professionals na then in a different field or talagang nag-focus sila for this organization? Yeah, they, they, they have work and then they, they uh, Parang visit their website. Oh, yes. The one handling the oh. YCD. This oh. is actually a White House initiative. Mm -hmm. And of course, we're we're part of this, the US Embassy Manila. And so we're basically the ones behind YCD. Ah, so ganun din. So kayo talaga yung nakafocus dito sa mga batang to. Yeah. yeah. So every day na namimit nyo sila, nakikita nyo sila, dun nyo sila nakikitang nagde-develop. Are they uh, are some of them very attached to you? Parang meron ba kayo na pinpoint na isa dalawa na grabe siya. Are we talking about the 2000 members? No. Pero so Filipino uh, Filipino youth alone. Diba, ilang ba ang uh, Filipino youth members natin? 2,000. 2,000 yes. talaga? So, oh my gosh. We keep in touch with them. We send them emails. Again, updates to YCD. Once you're registered, you get updates mm -hmm. on what's next for YCD Philippines and YCD, like the next YCD programs or the grant competitions. Um, and for those that we've sent to the States or those we've sent to the other countries, the SEN, definitely, um, they're they're like our partners now mm -hmm. in promoting and actually inspiring youth yeah. to join YC and to also do the same thing that they did, you know, in stealing, you know, social change to their communities and all. My tanong na ako, Mang EJ, is this for free? I mean, yes, yes someone for free. Says, states oh, is for free. free. Yes, yes. Oh, everything. It's for free. There's no cost to the YC members. Leave it's, it. It's it. The, the initiative offers opportunities for young people in the areas that we talked about mm -hmm. um, and to reach into other areas, to be have a more regional perspective on understanding and addressing challenges that face ASEAN as a whole, right? And so it's free, it's absolutely free. All you have to do is go to the website and you sign up mm -hmm. and then you have access. Of course, you have to be between 18 and 35 yes. years old. You don't have to be a student, you don't have to be a university graduate. Exactly. You wow. just have to have great ideas and want to foster positive change in the region and and that basically is it's pretty simple and it is only free. requirement to be a YC member. Yeah. It's so amazing ano kasi oh. actually no ang daming nakikinig, ang daming nanonood ngayon. Ang daming iniisip ngayon oh. all the, the the issues of of this country, mm -hmm. uh, the, the the issues in their barangays in their small town yeah. and then they want to share it with everybody. Yeah, this yeah. is the perfect this, uh, place. Yes, and learn place. from each other. Yes. You know, we learn make, from other people yeah, in the region who friends. said I had that problem mm -hmm. challenge and this is how we solved it. And then it's a conversation, it's getting people to the table as well. So it's really ins inspirational, certainly. Kung yun lang yung requirement nila, no, ay, an idea to make a change mm -hmm. between 18 to 35 years yun old lang. and you're willing to be a member of YCL and engage in other cultural activities and other cultural opinions about your... Ano, grabe, yung bilis naman pala mag- Oh, oh there! Ito ka lang, yclid.state.gov, register ka lang doon. It's grabe. super dali. Ayan, oh, yeah, so sa so mga nakikinig yun, sa so mga nanonood, kaharap nyo, Computer nyo, you're just doing Facebook. Oh. You have to type in. Yeah. You're all on the website, please. So, uh, ano ba yung uh, biggest uh, activity that YCL had for the past year that made this organization even more stronger? Ano ba yung talagang nakakapag overwhelm sa inyo? One event that uh, that gave you that push na this is overwhelming and I'm gonna push through with this for more years to come. 
You know, I think there were a couple of great turning points, but the most recent one was when President Obama was in Malaysia, and he there was a Waisili event. In Mar? In Mar. In Burma. In Oh, oh it, well, he did several. He did one in Malaysia, Malaysia one, in one in Burma, Miramar. So, and he um, spoke to these young young Waisili members, and different um, Waisili members came from all over ASEAN, and that's when he made a lot of the announcements and, and really yeah. and spoke. Um, uh, about the initiative and where he sees it going in the future. And so I, that was a turning point because that's when he said, hey, I'm going to, you know, we're going to look at 500 new exchange wow. opportunities for ASEAN. And that's quite a commitment, you know, because the United States is committed to the young people and to Waisili. And that's saying, so we're hoping we'll get about 50 yeah. for the Philippines. It's also wow. a very that's memorable great. one because he, he mentioned one Filipino um, young entrepreneur, social yeah. entrepreneur from Mindanao. Yeah. He said, like, he, said his, he mentioned his name and what he does for the community, his community yeah. and the country. Yeah. Wow. So it's very exciting. Mm -hmm. It is. Yes. And it's growing. And the, the numbers are growing and the opportunities are growing. So it's great. Yeah. I'm so excited no, for, oh. for, for, for the youth that uh, you know, are watching right now, mm -hmm. listening right now, na gusto mo sa talaga. Oo. Oh. Ang maganda kasi dito, siguro sana isipin natin, no, na yung youth kasi ngayon, ang daming doubts about the youth eh. Kasi andyan yung technological advancement, yung uh, culture natin ay hindi na kasing intact na dati. And yet, an organization rise up from the ground like this, giving uh, endless opportunities kahit hindi sa mga uh, may diploma. Hindi yeah. sa, sa college grad. Parang telling you na kahit ano pa yung pinagdadaanan mo, as long as 18 to 35, 35 ka, ka, you're in. Pwede ka. Pwede. Right. Nakakatawa yung ganun opportunity, no? Nakakatayo siya ng balay. Oo, oh, totoo yun. Oh. And uh, we, we don't know uh, the, the future ahead hmm. of this uh, organization. Oh, pero thank you. Thank you for doing uh, something like this, yung uh, organization like this. Uh, thank you for putting up and thank you for giving opportunities to Filipino youth. Uh, mm -hmm. Kasi that's all we need, I think. Eh. Siyempre, hindi naman, not uh, that I'm bragging, but uh, Filipino people are really good when it comes to different areas in life and uh, we really just need an opportunity and this is a great one. So, thank you. All right, thank so please you. again, for having us. please again, ma'am, Miss EJ, Miss Christine, please invite our listeners and of course our uh, viewers to uh, be a member of YCLE. Uh, Please visit our website, yseely.state.gov and, and sign up now and share your great ideas with us and make new friends in the region. All yes, right. Yes, uh, It's Yseely. is Y-S-E-A-L-I. Yseely. Yeah, so thank you, thank you, Ma'am EJ. Thank you, thank you Ma'am Christine, thank you so for being with us. us. Ayan, oh, yeah. so sana sa mga nanonood, sa mga kapwa natin, sa youth, ah, sa mga kabataan, mm -hmm. sana po ay eh, mag-engage uh, kayo sa ganitong klaseng programa that's giving you opportunity to change yung mga bagay na kala natin imposible. Oo, oh, totoo yun. Kaya naman, ano pa hinihintay nyo? Be a member now. Ayan, maraming salamat po ako po si Lala Banderas. Ako rin po si Rico Panyero. Kami ang Partners! partners.